Well, at a minimum, your kids will have infinite life expectancy if you're talking about escape velocity. If you can double lifespan, there's, it's not even close. You're, you're clearly past longevity escape velocity. They, the idea of 50 years of AI improvement. Yeah, it's like, great. I mean, I, we're going to have that in 20 years. I don't so, know. I've got too many fish to fry. So I invited... Uh, this is something, by the way, that I that I think... I, just, I think it's very... Obviously, other people think this too, but I've long thought that... Um, like long, like longevity or semi immortality is an extremely solvable problem. I don't think it's a yeah. particularly hard problem. Um, I mean, when you consider the fact that your body is extremely synchronized in this age, yeah, the clock must be incredibly obvious. Um, nobody has an old left arm and a young right arm. Right. Why is that? Oh. <laughs> What's keeping them all in sync? Yeah. Um, you're programmed to die. Is the is the way it, you're we're, programmed we're, to die, and so if you change the program, yeah, uh, you will live longer. And we've got you know species of the bowhead whale can live for 200 years. The Greenland shark can live for 500 years. And when I when I learned that, I said, why can they? Why can't we? And I said, it's either a hardware problem or a software problem. And we're going to have the tech to solve that. And I do believe that it's this next decade. So the important thing is not to die from something stupid before the, before the solutions come.